Good morning, we've just woken up at the farm after a few too many Thatcher's ciders last night. Leo's still tucked up, Leo Willow's still tucked up. Also got a whole load of laundry to do today. Not that much laundry. So we just dropped the laundry off. Do you know what? It's actually quite nice to drop a little drop because you haven't got to do it yourself. <laughs> Just do it for you and we pick it up and it's all washed and folded and dried. A bit lazy, I know, but very easy. We've got to go and enjoy this weather. Let's go. So, as you know, throughout the summer in Cornwall, we are pitched up on the spot for about five, six months. Let me show you around the little setup that we have while we're here. So this is Big Bez's spot. This is where we park up for the majority of the summer in Cornwall. I've got an awning, that's another recent addition. So that's the awning, that's the table we've got. Our solar panel, which we charge everything up. That just kind of stays there at the minute. We've got a car over there. And yeah, it's pretty much a full setup. All right, Leanne, sun's out. Do you fancy getting out on the bikes? Yeah. Finish your makeup and we'll get out. So let me show you our electric bikes. There we go, the beasts. So we're gonna to attempt to try and take Willow with us today. We haven't got her a basket yet. The goal is to get her a basket on the back of the front of the bike. We've got to order it and we've got to figure out what one we're gonna get. See what, it's an absolute game changer having these bikes in the summer. Isn't it? We can literally avoid every bit of traffic. Right. I'm gonna bring me fishing gear. I've got my portable rod, a nice pen travel rod, and I've also got in here loads and loads of lures. All kindly supplied to me by my brother-in-law who owns Phil's Tackle in Essex. So if you need your fishing gear, he also does online. So if you need fishing gear, he is the man to go to. And he's also a sponsored professional fisherman. So he knows what he's talking about. I mean, it still doesn't mean you're gonna catch a fish because I haven't caught one yet. <laughs> Maybe he's not telling me the secrets, but I'm gonna try that today. Hopefully we catch a fish. And if we do catch a fish, I've got to bring it back and get it on the barbecue. A nice bit of bass, bit of lemon and salt and pepper. And also this bike has got like racks on the front and back. So we can pretty much load it up with all the stuff and head down the beach. Oh, it's the start of June and it's bloody freezing. <laughs> I thought this would be a nice summery bike ride. It's the first time back on the roads. <laughs> They're quiet though, so it's all right. So we're diverting from the beach to go and get a coffee. So we're gonna stop at the coffee shop first and then try and head down to the sand. Hey, are yeah, you all right? Yeah, good, thank you. Can I get a um, cappuccino and a flat white, please? Can I get a breakfast bat, please? With... Can I get that with brown sauce? Just a bacon bat as well. And that's it, thank you. Can I buy cats? Oh. Yeah, of course you can. Cats is that. king, isn't it? Yeah, literally. <laughs> 17, please. I did you guys local coffee prices because you're coming. Thank oh, you thank so you very much. much. Appreciate thank that. Coffee secured. Lovely. Cheers. Close up. Should we go to the beach? Come on then. How's that going up here on the bike? <laughs> it's so easy going up the hills on these bikes. <laughs> I think around Cornwall there's like a whole sort of cycle network. I've seen like these little blue signs. So I think maybe that means that there's cycle networks everywhere. 
I'm not too sure. But this route is absolutely lovely. And I'm thinking it takes you right to the beach. So, let's find out. So, if we carry on going on this road, we can get onto that beach. So, let's just go for it. What do you reckon? Should we just go for it? Should we just go for it? If we carry on down here, this takes us straight onto the beach. No, but it might be because the tide's just gone out. It might be a bit compact. I'll let you try them. I'll go first. <laughs> and you follow me. Let's go. All the way down here then. To the beach. Let's go! First time on the beach on the bike. Let's see if we can do it. Or we're going to stack it. We'll find out. What about yeah, I think if we go down that bit over there. Go for it. You're not, you're not... Three and speed five. Speed five? Yeah. Go. Oh, is that? That is so good. That is wicked. Game changer, isn't it? Yeah. Clear game even, changer. It literally does not even struggle in the sand at all. It's like just riding on the road. You'd never be able to do this on a normal bike. <laughs> First time on the beach with the bike. It's been a success. It's so cool just being able to ride on the beach. Look at the day we've had. Look at the weather. Unbelievable. Should we head back to see Willow? Yes, let's go. So I've just run out of battery on one of them. And I've just switched the other one on. And I've got a full battery. Happy days. He's overtaken me on the hill. <laughs> like crazy frog. Because <laughs> my fat ass on this bike, gotta get up the hill. Stop eating pasties. <laughs> Still putting a bit of effort in. I've done this here with a normal bike. Definitely not this easy. <laughs> They're quick up the hills. <laughs> Let's go see if Willow's left us any treats in the van. Where is she? There's that little mutt. There she is. Willow! Spun the chair around. Hello, girl. And hello. Hello, girl. <laughs>
So we've just got back to the van. Willow's enjoyed our little adventure onto the beach. Ooh, thank so me and Leanne are just going to chill out for the evening at the van. And a massive thank you to Tell for the beers. Thanks, Tell. You're a legend, mate. Massively appreciated. We'll see you next week. See you next week.